Hello, I'm Adam Barrowland and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal red calcite. Now calcites are found in a whole range of colours in various locations around the world. Calcites are really great for cleansing and clearing. When you feel a raw piece like this, you can feel that it's kind of waxy or soapy. And what do we use soap for? For washing away different things that don't serve us anymore. And so that's how you remember what calcites are for. Now red calcite is sometimes referred to as being the veins of Mother Earth because of this beautiful blood red energy. And so what is red calcite good for cleansing and clearing away? All those primal and really earthly and physical issues that may be holding us back. And that's what we're going to explore in this video, how you can use red calcite to cleanse away what doesn't kind of serve you and like the veins of Mother Earth bring blood through her systems, how to bring new life force into your life as well. Red calcite is great for allowing you to realize the mistakes that you've made in this lifetime and in past lifetimes, and thus stop you from making those same mistakes again. It helps you to learn from them and also gives you courage and releases any fear so that you can go forward and change the way of being so that you can evolve in this lifetime. What red calcite asks you is, are you operating from love or fear? And to bring that loving life force energy into your life. Now it's also really good from stopping you from making mistakes when you get, you know when you get really riled up and really angry and those kind of blood cursings, you know, it's pulsing through your veins really, really great. Red calcite is great to hold and breathe and kind of come back to that groundness and cleanse away that excess energy. It's really good as well when you feel that life is a struggle and that the only way that you can succeed in life is to outcompete and to outrace everyone and have this whole burden of this real kind of struggle in life. Red calcite cleanses that away, brings you back down to basics and helps you to have faith in the universe again. So if you're feeling really riled up and struggling and the effort of it all, then red calcite is really going to allow you to settle down to come back into balance and to work back in flow with how the universe naturally wants you to live your life. Red calcite is amazing if you have an overactive base chakra. Now how can you tell if your base chakra is overactive? Our base chakra is our primal chakra, it's at the base of our spine and our coccyx and it's to do with our real everyday feeling safe and secure. Now when there's too much energy there, certain behaviours can be, you can be a bit belligerent or inconsiderate, you might be a bit reckless as well and there also can be a real obsession uh, with the physical and material gain and that type of thing. Now if you're not too sure you might want to grab a pendulum, hold the pendulum and ask it to show you what the energy of a balanced chakra looks like and see how much it swings. Then stop it and say, now show me the energy of my base chakra. And if it swings greater, then it would be overactive. There is another video on my YouTube channel that talks all about the base chakra. If you look that up, it'll give you some further tips. But remember, as I mentioned before, red calcite is really good for cleansing and clearing away extra energy. And so it's ideal for the base chakra for cleansing away that extra energy. And so what you can do, place it on the base chakra, meditate and see that red energy center kind of going to a nice, balanced, vibrant red. If you want to do a simple grid, try popping that on the base chakra as close to the energy center as you can and put four black tourmalines, either on the four corners, kind of because black tourmaline helps to remove extra energy as well. For added um, benefit, get the person, whether it be yourself or you're helping someone else to either hold jet in either hand or put it at their feet because that's of course taking it down and jet absorbs unwanted energies as well. As we bring our base chakra into balance what you're going to find is you're going to feel safe and secure, you're not going to kind of be too over the top, you're kind of going to know your place in this world and you'll be able to adapt to the changes that life throws at you each and every day. Once you've used red calcite to get rid of all that doesn't serve you, all those mistakes that you keep making, any fears or anxieties and different things like that, then you can use it to connect more with Mother Earth. What I love to do with my red calcite is sit outside on the earth and if there is anything you still feel that's in your life that's lingering and you need to get rid of, then send that into the earth and just because the earth is really good at rebalancing all energies, that's what it does. And by having your red calcite nearby that will really facilitate that. But then, remember as I said in the introduction, red calcite is referred to as the veins of Mother Earth and the, the curses and brings that blood and life force through her, uh, through her core. 
and so it can really help you to connect with Mother Earth's core as well. Hold it against your heart or put it on your hand as you put your two hands on the earth and really allow yourself to connect with Mother Earth on a deeper level. This can really open up to feel more grounded, more in tune with nature. It can help to balance out your rhythmic cycles, your circadian cycles, and allow you to bring in guidance and wisdom. Maybe you're feeling a bit scattered and you meet, need some guidance from a stable Mother Earth, or allow her to nurture her and allow her to whisper her wisdoms to you as you use your red calcite to sink deeper and deeper into the earth and into her energy fields. When it comes to crystal healing for our physical body, I find red calcite is really good for blood pressure, especially low blood pressure. It's already connected to the veins because we've discussed that throughout the video and Mother Earth veins, but it's really good for us as well. Now, if you look at the work of people like Louise L. Hay and Ina Segal, They'll talk about how that low blood pressure is normally comes from an attitude, an energy around you that you keep on repeating to yourself and this affects your physical body. And this attitude is one of defeatism. Why bother? There's no use. And so you kind of use it, losing that faith in life. And so the blood in our veins might just start to slow down. Now what you do is you start to grab that red calcite and you start to think about that life is great and there are so many rewards in life. Maybe find a nice affirmation that really helps you. Using rosemary essential oil can also help to increase your blood pressure and also using lemon essential oil can help to regulate your blood pressure. So incorporate it with these two essential oils and see what you can do to start to bring your blood pressure up. Of course, whenever we're dealing with anything to do with our health, we should consult medical professionals or health professionals, but on an energetic level, your red calcite can help to change what keeps on causing your blood pressure to drop. I hope I've excited you about working with red calcite and before you do that, do any major workings with it, it will be a really good idea to cleanse it, whether you've just acquired it or whether it's been sitting around in your home for a while. I find it's the best way to cleanse this one is by using the element of fire. So placing it near an open fire, about a metre away, where the warmth can kind of bring it back into its fiery balance, or passing it through a candle flame three times quickly, making sure you don't burn yourself or get the crystal too hot. Now when I'm working with crystals, I take a real holistic approach and I bring in other things that really resonate with it. I love to work with animals because animals give us different guidance and their energy and their vibration and their medicine really helps to guide us in the essence of the crystal that we're working with. When I'm working with red calcite, I work with the frilled neck lizard, this beautiful lizard that's found in Australia. Now when he feels threatened, he'll fan out his um, out this beautiful frill around his neck and so he teaches us to step up and to be bold and to seize life and to be the biggest and best we can be and red calcite allows us to strip away those mistakes and all those things that don't serve us anymore all those fears and anxieties and to step up and allow the blood to course through our veins and enthusiasm to show again so they work really well together now I also like to incorporate plants and the plant I love with red calcite is white camphor and especially as an essential oil now brown and yellow and blue camphors can be a little bit toxic so you want to avoid them but white camphor is absolutely amazing. Spiritually it's great for cleansing the space around you but it's also really great for inhaling just very very briefly to clear the mind as well. It's also known as an aphrodisiac and an anaphrodisiac so it can actually lift your um, sexual desires but also quell them if they're over over the top so it's really quite balancing of those real primal drives that we get now you know passion and sexual desire and anger and all those different things if they get too much that can kind of lead, of, lead us off our path and red calcite helps to quell them and calm them and stabilize them as does white camphor so inhaling it just br very briefly can be very very beneficial while you're meditating with your red calcite and you're actually calling on that frilled neck lizard medicine to guide you and step up and be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. Astrologically, this is associated with Mars, and so the power day to work with this is Tuesday. I really love the feel of red calcite. It's got such an earthy feel, but also a fiery feel about it as well. It's, it's kind of a really interesting combination of the two energies. Have you worked with red calcite? I'd love to hear about your experiences, as would the rest of our crystal loving and nature loving community. So please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.